He was Holtzy, Happy Gilmore before Happy Gilmore. Exactly. <laughs> Holtzy is a nice mixture of like a beautiful like Jitnik slap shot, or even like you can even say like a char, like the, the fast hitting slap shots. Right. But what makes him incredible is there's this brand new style of shooting, and Austin Matthews is like the guy. I'm not saying that Holtzy is Austin Matthews, but a lot of players are starting to move their feet on their shots. You never know where it's going to go. I love right. the fact that this guy reminds me of Jacob the Grom of hockey and you never know <laughs> you never know what he's gonna throw at you it's true though it's true right he's got a right. great one-timer he's got a great wrist shot he can shoot anywhere on the ice he can literally yeah. play anywhere on the ice he's a, he's just he's everything the devils need in a winger position and I think when Lindy Ruff figures out with management that this is the guy they're missing I think you'll start to see the devils take that next step but he, he just reminds me of a guy that had like a blistering slap shot but can find the back of the net. So that's why I said Jim, Nick. He had a great shot. But um, <laughs> right, right, right. But I, 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 I give him I give him one month and he's already on the devils. That's that's just I the well, way I see yeah. It. The, well, the, Sorry, the nice guys. thing is too. Sorry. No, it's well. Uh, we're it's, used. We're being AHL fans. You know, following the American, it's, we're, we're used to it. They, right. it's anything could be better than the Canucks giving us a new roster every twenty six seconds. <laughs> but the nice thing about the Comets right now is they have a ton more talent too. Like Holtz, yeah, he's sure. a stud. He's definitely the best offensive player on the team. Arguably, probably in the division. I know it's only been one game, but you know, you know what I mean. There's plenty of other offensive power. Like Delio looked good. Uh, Gambardella looked great in the, yeah, the preseason games. Uh, AJ oh, really, Greer is really good. Yeah, AJ Greer and Tyler Witherspoon are tough as nails. Love both of them. We got Tyler Witherspoon, a legitimate NHL player who just couldn't cut it and is down here and he's probably pissed. Nolan Foot and then Schmelzer had a great goal too. Yeah, so it's not did. like they don't have it, it, in the past few years with the Comets. If we lost like Goldie or Boucher, we were we were in so much trouble. But right. now if we lose Holtzy, it's okay. It's gonna it's gonna be tough, but. They're, it's not like they're not going to score goals. Like they'll they'll score goals, especially with the system right. that the Dean's running. Our right. coaching staff, everything I love so much about them already, and it's only been a handful of games. So it it'll be tough to lose them. I'm sure it won't be long, but it'll it'll, it'll I think it'll work out. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I just think. Sorry, I just I was no, going to add good. one more thing here. I, you know, a lot of people compared him to style of play to like Ovechkin's. Okay, I get it, but I, I just I just think that when you look at these guys coming up you know, through, through the Utica Comet, I say program, like it's a college, but like I see him coming up through the organization and, you know, the devils are really in a complete rebuild essentially. Like they, they always seem, there's always teams other than Buffalo that seem to do it well. And you mentioned the talent pool. And I, and I noticed that first, that first come like firsthand when I watched that game, they have complete lines where most AHL teams don't. So Right. Um, you know, I think in a year you're going to completely see just like two lines go completely to the Devils right off the bat. Great. So. Can't wait. Well, then hopefully they get some good high, high draft picks this year, too, so they can uh, replenish the, the HL. Yeah. yeah right. well, you want to be good. That's what you want. Yeah. Hey, come but, on. But, you know, we, we want our hometown team to be good, too, because this is just awesome so far. So, right. Yeah. Like it was a blast, it's one man. game. We'll, we'll yeah. see Friday night. But that's. uh. No, that's uh, I, yeah, I, I, but I agree. I don't think Holtz lasts too much longer in Utica. I'd say by Thanksgiving, but we'll I mean, happens. he's what he was the seventh overall draft pick, yeah. right? You're expecting a lot out of that kid. The the one thing that hey, they might like, like it was kind of getting at earlier. They might want to at least give him some time down here because because he literally is a child. So right. they might they might want to be like, hey, you know, we don't want to like rush you into this. Well, you know, but, people forget though, he played ten games for Binghamton last year too. That is true. Good point. Okay. So, you know, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't remember the beautiful city of Binghamton, New York. My bad. <laughs> Forgot.